What's going on guys? Welcome to a brand new TV review today. Today I'm discussing, not spoiler of course, for Ozark Season 2. What is Ozark about? Have you never heard of the show? Well, it's a Netflix exclusive show. It stars Jason Bateman, Lauren Linney, and it's about a family who ends up moving to the Ozark, Missouri because their father is an accountant for the cartel. Now, this is a very much a crime drama type of show, and when the first season came out, a lot of people made it saying this is the brand new Breaking Bad. If you need a Breaking Bad fix, this is what you should watch. And I watched it, and there are a lot of similarities to Breaking Bad. Not completely where it's like a knockoff of it, but no. The first season was excellent. Excellently executed, and it's one of those shows that it just kept building on each episode. And going into season two, they had a lot to deal with. After season one, literally blew up in your face. Literally. Quite literally. Heads blown off and stuff. I... I was really curious to see how they were going to do this next season because the first season was done and executed so well and I was wondering were they going to stay in the same Breaking Bad vein where of course like the father he deals and he in a bad situation he has to work for the bad guys he's Breaking Bad in a sense because he's in this harsh situation something that this next season did take in a new light is the fact that the whole family is involved. Yeah, most of them don't even want to be a part of it, but they are involved in a certain sense, all trying to stay alive in this sense. And this is where the second season takes it on board. They're trying to get a casino up and running so that way they can launder money more and faster because if they get this casino running, they don't have to worry about the cartel on their asses anymore because this casino will handle it for them. The whole season is all about that. And that's the thing about this season is that you always felt on the edge of your seat. You always felt like something was gonna happen. You always felt like nothing is ever done. Even though some of the things that do, do end up happening in this TV show don't end up in the best manner or might not end up in the best right. And some things can be a little bit predictable in the way that it ends up in, oh, you're like, oh, okay, it's a little bit repetitive here. I know what's gonna happen here. It's either gonna end up in one of two ways. You still felt on the edge of your seat. You still felt some unpredictable things happening. And the way that the season left off just had me going, wow, can I, can I get season three like, right now because i would love that and that's what i really want i want a season three and after the season ended i was sitting there i was like i can only see the show going for one more season maybe they have more plans maybe they have like okay we know what we're gonna do up to season five after everything because they tied up a lot of nice subplots in here and every subplot in this show felt interesting there's one with the daughter that's a little iffy to me it, that was the one that was kind of like okay that, that's really predictable we always expect that to happen and it's kind of crime drama shows but Besides that, I was still intrigued to see what happened. It was the only one that was really the weakest. Every other one in here was superiorly strong and handled so well with the writing and the directing. I think one of the strongest things of the show are the performances. Now, Jason Bateman was the tour de force in the first one. He was fantastic. He was excellent. He's excellent in here too, but for some reason, the first season really focused on him as the main character. You know, the one he is fantastic as Wendy, of course, in the first season. Even Julia Garner, who played Ruth in the first season, was great, but they weren't given enough emphasis for me. I, I felt like the first season that focused on them, but not focused enough. It was all on Jason Bateman's character. Now, this season, though, really gives limelight to every character on the spectrum. That's a fantastic thing to see. You know, you get more about Jason Bateman, but really the women in here are the tour de force performances, the ones that push forward with their plots, with their character development. Lauren Linney, no reason she should not be nominated for this role. She is so good as Wendy Bird, and the, just the d depths and the layers that she adds to her character in this season was superb. But for me, Leah Gardner, who plays Ruth Langmore, is my favorite character of this whole show now. This subplots, the plots, the story development, the character development that she gets in the season is fantastic. We saw a little bit of this in the first season, but there's so much more to her that they go into. And I think the creators knew that. They're like, hey, this is a really interesting character. And the whole Ruth, she just gets handled with so much stuff in the season. And she is really the heart of Ozark. If I'm being honest, I think she's the heart and spirit of this show in a sense. And I just love seeing where they take her character within the season. And she was excellent in here excellent and i thought she just gave a wonderful performance in here julia garner is really the big standout for season two 
Again, they really push all these main characters in the focus. The Schnell family gets more. The drug cartel adds more characters to it. It brings more light. Some of the the, mo the Kansas City mob gets into this. Bud, who was a great character in the first season, gets a little bit more in this one too. And every single character got a little bit more focus and a little bit more story centric to the whole entire plot. That's what I absolutely love about Ozark Season 2. Ozark Season 2 capitalized on what made the first season great and turns it into more excellent stuff in here. Fantastic performances Jason Bateman again superb performance the women might have stole a lot of the shows in here but Jason Bateman has one episode in here where he just breaks down you see him you see the pain that he's going through and just same with the, everyone else in here I, I have no idea why this show is not getting more buzz I think the show deserves tons of buzz and if you have not watched Ozark yet check it out season one then check out season two it's the easy show to binge well sometimes it's very dark but I binge the hell out of the show and I can't wait to hear you guys thoughts so with all that said I'm gonna give Ozark season two an A me guys what are your guys thoughts on ozark have you guys watched the show are you excited to watch this new season comment down below and tell me what your guys thoughts are and of course like i said this is not a spoiler so let's talk about it down below i want to hear your guys thoughts and see if you guys are going to start checking out the show now and also if you're new here hit up sandwich on films right down there because right down there you're going to do advanced movie screens and also check out some movie news and even some movie reviews of course until next time stay classy